So I just realized that I forgot to talk about reflections, okay? We've said this a lot of times with the transformations. Okay, if I reflect over the x-axis, then I'm going to negate the y. It's just the complete opposite. That would become negative f of x because this is just a fancy y. Let's say that our equation was x squared plus 2x plus 1. To get this, because all of our functions need to be a positive, so we would have to multiply by a negative or divide by a negative, which is going to just negate everything on this side. Now, if I was going to flip this across the y-axis, I would negate the x. These are opposites, okay? So that means f of negative x. That means every time I see an x, I have to replace it with a negative. Let's just use that same equation. <coughs> Excuse me, <laughs> sorry. Okay, so inside of the parentheses, I'm gonna put negative x squared plus two times negative x plus the one. All right, so. Here's where some of the confusion is happening. I just can't go through a negate like we did before. A negative times a negative creates a positive here. Okay, so this would be x squared. It doesn't change, okay? From here, I have a negative and a positive makes a negative 2x plus one. So some of these change, some of them don't. As you can see, when I compare these, They are not the same. I did not just simply flip the signs to the opposite. Okay, so one is negating the y, one is negating the x.